Hi, I'm Lee Draper from Lattice Semiconductor. I'm an applications engineer. Today we're going to go over Lattice's low-cost FPGA PCI Express development kit. We have a development board which will plug into a PCI slot on our computer. There's also a power supply and a programming cable. We'll show when to use those. The kit comes with a user's guide for the demo. We'll be going over all these steps during this demo. It also comes with a user's guide for the board itself, uh, which has the schematics for the board, everything we need, uh, you know, anything you want to know about the board. Then for software, we have ISP Lever, which is Lattice's FPGA development tool. And then the drivers and GUI for the development kit itself. First, we'll be installing those drivers. We're now installing the drivers and software for the demo kit. Click finish. That was actually pretty quick for this. I'm going to unplug the computer and open the case, plug in the demo board. Here's the PCIe demo board in its buy one slot. We've powered up again, and Windows will want to know where the drivers are for this new PCIe device. Located in the Lattice dev kit directory, and follow those through. This is also explained in the user guide. The driver's installed successfully and it recognizes our demo board. Let's run the basic demo. We'll click on the 16 segment tab. This gives you the ability to turn on and off segments and as you turn them on here on the screen clicking on them they do light up on the, our evaluation board. There's also a test you can run, which individually goes through the segments. That takes a few seconds to run, and as it's running, you can watch those uh, light up and go off on the board. Um, this all shows communication through the PCI Express link. These are some other tabs you can explore on your own. Information about the PCI Express link, a memory test, a counter, and read write. I'm now installing ISPVM, which is Lattice's JTAG programming tool, which allows us to load a new bit stream into our development kit. We'll now connect Lattice's USB programming cable to our demo board so that we can download a new bit stream. One end of the cable goes into the ISPVM connector on the demo card. The other end of the programming cable goes into any available USB slot. All right, now we'll run ISPVM, Lattice's programming tool, so we can program the new bit stream for the image move application into our FPGA. We go to File and Open, navigate to the location where the bit streams have been placed. We pick the buy one bit stream for buy one PCI slot. And then we just hit the go button up here, which will start programming the bit stream into the part. And now we just have to wait until that's finished. After you install the new bit stream into the FPGA, you'll have to reboot the system, power down and power back up. Then the windows will recognize again new hardware, and this is to allow you to install the drivers for the other tests. The driver we want to use this time is the PCIe DMA driver. Now we're ready to run the demo. The image move demo is part of our demo suite that displays our scatter gather DMA operation for our PCI Express. The displays can be altered by pressing F1 F2 or F3, which apply different filters to the received data. Basically, this demo is to show moving massive amounts of data from the PC to our PCI Express demo board and back. Well, that was easy. We've just gone through installation of the board, the software, and run through a couple of the demos that come with our PCI Express development kit. We also include ISP Lever, which is our 
complete FPGA design tool suite. So if you need to do a PCI Express design with a low-cost FPGA, get your kit today.